Here we're talking about the Tenant T5E walk behind floor scrubber. What does it do? You have a scrub brush at the front, agitates, breaks up dirt, trash, grease, oil, any kind of buildup on the floor. You can use scrub brushes or pads to affect that. You have a squeegee at the back that picks up the liquid mess. You have a recovery tank that holds the dirty water. You have a clean water tank that puts down clean solutions. Hello, this is Josiah, powerclean.net. Today we're gonna to talk about the Tenet T5E and if it's the perfect floor scrubber for you. We're gonna talk about a few different points, a few technical things, and some of the features. Tenet T5E is a battery floor scrubber. Its main job is to lay water down, scrub the floor, clean up any buildup, dirt, grease, oil, traffic, anything that's building up there. And then the squeegee at the back vacuums that dirty water up and takes it away. After that's completed, you want to be able to empty that dirty water, recharge the machine, refill the clean water and solution so you can get your floor going. The Tenet T5 is also known as the Nobles SS5. Got two of them side by side right here. If you notice, they are absolutely identical. Same parts, same SKU numbers all the way through. The Nobles is going to be a dark green. The Tenet's going to be a teal color. If you look at the controls on the back, Very simple, engage, disengage, drive, reverse. SS5 is gonna have the same features. Engage, disengage, drive, reverse. Very similar machines. T5 is gonna come in a 24 inch, 28 inch, 32 inch. They use the metric system, so you'll see that it's 600, 700, or 800. Pricing on these, bottom end unit, a little bit older, maybe a few scratches on it. You're gonna come in around 3,500. It can be hard to spend a little bit more than 5,500 on these. That'd be a very new, very clean, long warranty unit. Your main concerns as you choose which scrubber is proper for you, the size of the area that you're scrubbing. If you're doing 80 or 100,000 square feet, you really wanna be thinking about a rider. It's a long time to be walking. Access to tight spaces. If you need to do large areas, but you also need to be going in and out of offices, tight doorways, your mop room has a constricted doorway. You don't wanna to have to be struggling to get your machine in or out, emptying into buckets, filling with hoses that are very long if you don't have to. Uh, if you have a very small area you have to get into, that 24 inch machine will drive right through a doorway without disassembly. The 700, 800 millimeter machines have a squeegee that is quite a bit wider than the machine, so you can clean at full speed as you go down the way, but that squeegee would have to go off to go through a 36 inch doorway. After those two considerations, you have down pressure. If you're doing a very dirty factory floor, scrubbing, stripping, grinding, you may need the extra weight and higher battery capacity to get that greater down pressure that you get with the 5680, T600, the Avance SC900. We sell all of those also. Not really maintenance operations, that's more specific work. Uh, you can see here on the board, the T3, which is the smaller of the tenant machines, has a down pressure of roughly 50 to 90 pounds. The T5, has a down pressure of up to 120 pounds. You come over to that 5680, the large category, you go up from 100 to 200 pounds. Down pressure is not really a consideration for 99% of cleaning work. Your work is being done by the agitation of the brush, the pad, and the chemicals that you're using. And most contaminants that you're taking up are surfing contaminants, not really affected by extra pressure. However, if you are doing a very rough factory environment, uh, you're doing any kind of grinding, slurry pickup, those sort of environments uh, may require extra down pressure, especially if you're doing wax, uh, strip work, that kind of thing. After that, uh, you have some other considerations. The T3, the smaller category, only has a 10 gallon tank. If you're doing a really large area, you're gonna go back and refill quite a bit. The T5 has a tank that I believe you're gonna come in a little under 20 some gallons. 5680, much larger tank. You're gonna be a lot closer to 30 gallons, which will give you a larger area that you can clean 
or you can use a higher volume of water uh, without worrying about running out. Worst case scenario, you're just going back to refill the tank, but not something you want to do seven or eight times as you clean a really large warehouse or building. As you look at the machines, we have the smaller versions, 20 inch machines. This is a 24 inch machine. These both use a two battery configuration. So they'll have a lot less runtime in the one to two, maybe three hour area. Much simpler machine. Most of the small machines are brush assist, meaning you push the machine when the brush isn't down when the brush is down and engaged, it gives a little bit of forward propulsion. Some of them do have drive control to aid. If you're working a really large building, uh, propulsion is a must. As you come through the SS5 T5E, you have the full size deck. You get four batteries so you get a much longer runtime. You're getting a lot closer to four or five hours of runtime with these batteries. Also gives you more power to do drive, more power for two brushes, extra down pressure, much stronger vacuum. All the machines come with an included charger. Most of them are an onboard charger. If you're in a very large building, you don't have any space confinements and you have the budget, really recommend the T7. It's really a twin to the T5, except it's a rider. You sit on it to operate it, you drive it around. Anytime you're breaking 30, 40,000 square feet, you're gonna be working for more than an hour, and a rider would be a much more pleasant way to deal with that than walking around pushing. If you need a walk behind machine, but you need extra battery capacity or extra width, you step into this class of machine, you get the extra five or 10 gallons, and you get six batteries using the same size motors, but you get more amp hours, so longer run times as the batteries deplete. Much heavier. These are not the kind of machines you want to be taking in and out of trucks and trailers as you move around. These lighter machines are much more friendly if you need to take them from job site to job site. However, if you do have to have them, extremely effective, great workers. Let's go ahead and turn the T5E on. Clasp here. We're going to release that. We'll latch the tank. A quick walk around in the machine. Squeegee's on. Hoses are connected. Deck's on. On the deck, you have a little skirt that stops it from spraying water with centrifugal force, keeps it from wetting an aisle beside you if you're in an occupied store. You have a drive block here. This is a brush. It can also do pad drivers. A pad driver is similar to a brush, but it turns a nylon pad that can do different levels of scrubbing or cleaning or even stripping. You've got a key on the back. Turn the key on. Computer boots up. We're going to lower our deck to the floor. We're going to lower our speed to slow. Engage the brushes. You notice the brush pressure gauge. We're going to lower that to the green. And now we're cleaning. You notice no water's coming out. So our next video, we'll show you how to put water in and run the machine. To add water is very simple. Just insert the hose at the back of the machine. Turn your water on. And as the tank fills, you'll notice it register right here on the hose as it rises up. You can also add water at the front. Just remove your little cap here and you can add chemical or water by the bucket at the front. Okay, so we've added water and if you want to add chemical, you can do that very sparingly. It doesn't take but a few ounces. All of your work is happening with the agitation of the brushes or the pads. If you have a very, very oily or greasy environment, you might add a little bit more 
but seldom would you need to add more than a cup or two to the full tank of water. Uh, cold or hot water, obviously hot water is going to clean a little bit better in oily environments, uh, but it's not a real big concern. Uh, your agitation, pressure, and solution, the chemical that you're using is going to do most of your work. Don't have to use anything fancy. A lot of people just use the 60 cent white vinegar. Some people use simple green, purple power, uh, neutral cleaner. Uh, just stay away from anything that has paraffin or a lot of additives for a glossy or shiny floor. Uh, those things will tend to clog up your plumbing. Won't be a big issue, but you'll end up having to clear it out with the air gun or something just if your lines plug up with it. So we're going to go right back to working. We're going to take our down pressure, lower the deck to the floor. We're going to engage the machine at low speed. We're going to back the pressure off to the green. We're going to go about cleaning. And you see it's laying solution, foaming, doing some work. Of course, we also want to pick that up. So we're just going to lower our squeegee down to the ground right here. We're going to go clean a line. got quite a bit of power it's pulling up the stuff that's down in the cracks it'll pick up most small trash dust little chunks and bits and pieces of things you don't really have to be super concerned about pre-sweeping you do want to pick up large objects piles of things it's not really gonna hurt the machine to go over it when you get to the end of your line flip it right around just like a lawnmower pick up the next line if your cleaning is very effective, you can increase the travel speed. Move much faster. As you get to finishing your path, raise your deck up. Once it reaches a certain height, the brush will stop spinning, it'll stop putting water out. You picked up all your water, lift your squeegee up, vacuum turns off. All of your water is in this upper tank, all the trash that it's picked up off the ground. To empty the machine, you have a hose. Just take the cap off the hose and let it out into any floor drain. A mop sink, a toilet, a bucket. Outdoors if you're not using a lot of heavy chemicals or picking up anything really nasty. Put the cap up when you're done. If in this case we haven't used a battery at all, those batteries will keep for several months like that. If you did deplete them down into the yellow or the red, Open your tank. Connect the quick charge connect. Plug your charger into any wall outlet. Charger is going to turn on. Identify the battery voltage, what it needs in its charge cycle. It'll start on red. It'll condition the batteries, do a low, middle, top, peak charge, and it'll do a triple charge to maintain them. Very, very intelligent algorithmic charger. It gets you a lot of life out of your set of batteries. Battery maintenance, once every couple months, just look down inside at the hydrosulfuric acid, top it off with distilled water as needed. Once a year or so, check your battery terminal connections, make sure you don't have any corrosion, any buildup on them. That's it. That's the Tenant T5E, a very capable, hardworking floor scrubber. 
same model as the Nobles SS5, the walk behind twin to the Tenant T7, smaller cousin to the 5680 T600, the larger 32, 34 inch heavy duty scrubbing machines. Big brother to the T3 SS3, the smaller 2017, 24 inch machines. Remember as you look at it, you want a machine that will lay the water, scrub effectively, vacuum up the trash, easy to empty, easy to recharge, easy to refill. Want to take in the concerns of the size of the area to be scrubbed? Make sure you get a machine that's adequate, not too small, not too big. You want to make sure you have a machine that can fit into the closet where you have to fill it and empty it. If you're going to be going through many doorways, more than four or five, the irritation of putting the squeegee on and off or having to navigate through them will make you wish you had a smaller machine. So be aware of tight spaces. Down pressure. Those contractors and persons who need a big heavy duty machine, make sure that we get you the appropriate machine. Count on us for any equipment needs. Powerclean.net, you can reach out, ask for a quote and get your best deal. Remember that at PowerClean, we always have Kentucky's largest inventory of in stock, fully refurbished, better than factory warranty tenant floor scrubbing equipment. All of our machines are fully refurbished in our state of the art shop. We go through every motor, all the wire harnesses, all the gearboxes, all the parts and pieces to make sure that you only get the very best equipment in the very best condition. And that's how we can stand behind it with our one to three warranty. I'm Josiah Roby, and if I can help you get a floor scrubber, reach out to me at powerclean.net or my sister Erica, and we will get you matched up with the very best possible floor machine for your factory, warehouse, shop, cleaning application, any need you may have. You can reach me anytime at 859-509-7742 or find us at powerclean.net.